Hi, my name is Joshua Jack Price. I'm 20 years old and I'm a professional dancer with San Francisco Ballet. I've been dancing for 12 years and four of those years have been uh, semi-professional for one year and then three years as a full company member. So I'm originally from Wollongong, which is about an hour south of Sydney in New South Wales, Australia. And right now, if the coronavirus wasn't existing, I would be in my little apartment in San Francisco. So I started dancing when I was eight years old. Uh, I had a friend who was attending um, classes at my local school. So I started one weekend uh, doing a tap class and then by the next week I was doing three classes and then the next week I was doing ten classes and it just kind of <laughs> snowballed from there. Uh, then my family moved up the coast to the Gold Coast. Um, I started attending Amanda Bollinger Dance Academy. In 2016 I was really fortunate that the Genet International Ballet Competition was held in Sydney which meant that it was going to be really easy for Australians to go and to experience this incredible competition that is usually held somewhere else in the world. I was very fortunate that year to receive the gold medal after the 10 day intensive and it was absolutely surreal feeling for me to receive that medal and the scholarship prize with that because it really set me up to attend the next competition which is called the Prix de Lausanne and that was in February of 2017 and I was really fortunate there to be a finalist and ultimately awarded my scholarship to San Francisco Ballet School. San Francisco Ballet is a touring company. Uh, we dance mainly our season within our own backyard at the San Francisco War Memorial Opera House. And at least once or twice a year, we try to go on tour. And uh, in my time at the company, I've been fortunate enough to tour to London and Copenhagen, which I really loved. It's a really beautiful city there. But we were scheduled to go to uh, Toronto, Canada as well, but unfortunately that was cancelled due to coronavirus. I think for me personally, uh, one of the things that I love about performing is just the moment of being on stage, there's no judgement and you can be 120% yourself and the audience appreciates that, you know, it's the one chance in life you have to put yourself on display as, as true to yourself as you can and have everyone appreciate it as art. I, I like to say that people don't choose ballet as a career path, ballet chooses them. Uh, I mean, I, I would love to perhaps delve into different styles later in my career. Uh, I never really pinpoint exactly where I want to go. I just let my career take me and see where that leads me. I think that most performers start to look at going overseas due to the lack of exposure, uh, unfortunately, in our country. A lot of people on the street don't understand what it means to be a professional dancer, let alone a male or classical ballet dancer. And I, I think they don't understand that it can be a career that actually generates an income. So of course people with this limited exposure and limited opportunity and limited space in companies, they have to look at the whole world and see where they can head. I think in order for Australia to have a dance industry like what exists in Europe and America and even Asia would ultimately be down to the culture and how we're raised. Some of my biggest inspirations in my career are my peers and the people that I work with. I think that each of us have such individual journeys to get to the same goal and the same company 
and it's always so interesting to hear from them and how they made their journey and their career happen. My, my biggest goal for my entire career is just to be content with whatever happens and to get to the end and when I'm old and I can't move anymore and my joints are stiff to say yes I did everything I wanted to do and I'm content within myself. When the coronavirus pandemic started, I was in the United States, in San Francisco, and we had just opened our first night of A Midsummer Night's Dream, and at the end of the show, we were all called back onto the stage and delivered the news that um, the rest of our season had been canceled and that they weren't really sure what was gonna happen next. Maybe we were gonna try and work on our next program, perhaps it would Passover, but that right now we should shelter in place and return home. This pandemic has really been a revealing time, I think, for a lot of people. It made me realize how much I wasn't valuing what I had. It really gave me time to reflect and look at the bigger picture of everything that's going on. And when I got home, definitely initially it was very hard, uh, especially during home quarantine for 14 days, just being bed bound and wondering, you know, how the world had been turned around so quickly. Uh, the thing that has pulled me through though has definitely been just trying to keep some kind of rhythm, some kind of schedule, uh, doing as much class as I can do on each day and just trying to really push through and plan what's next for me. I think finding a solution to our industry during the coronavirus pandemic should ultimately revolve around getting us back on stage as soon as possible. Even if it's to a small capacity, even if you know we aren't getting the numbers that we usually can, I think for our souls and our spirits, just having you know 50 people even attend a socially distanced event would you know really start to get us back on path. in there. <laughs> we'll make it through together. <laughs>